Today is uh, July 14, 2018, and it's 7.30ish or so. Um, I just weigh myself. I'm under 126. Morning weight is okay. Just to see my baseline. It's not bad. 126.2. So, I will be going to the gym later. Um, because the kids are going to go somewhere with their dad. So, you know, I'm not going to rush to be at the gym uh, early in the morning, especially on the weekend. It's going to be chaotic and I want to do a good full body or whatever may come in mind once I'm in the gym. So what I'm going to do now, last night I put some uh, mixed vegetables out. My mixed vegetable is done. Um, I'm going to make it right now because I have the energy to do it and I need to make my coffee. So I'm going to do it right now to get out of the way. So when I come back, I have something to eat and I think after I come from the gym I might go to the supermarket to buy chicken my uh, chili is almost done so I need some protein to put on my wrap either another uh, ground meat or a chicken uh, my husband probably gonna be tired of the chili because that's what we well I eat it all week I don't mind I could eat the same thing all week um, as you can see, my weight is going down. This two wrap helps me. It keeps me full. As long as I'm eating something, I'm chewing on something, and it fills me up. I mean, every now and then, I have little craving for sweets or something like that. I try not to because uh, I did have two or three pimples come on my face because last week I ate uh, that, uh, what is it, Lucky treat uh, some sort of a candy I mentioned in one of my videos so okay I am going to make coffee and the uh, uh, vegetables to get it out the way so yeah that's it Saturday, July 14, 2018, and it's 12.44 yeah, um, p.m. I've been up for a while. My kids were up. They're doing their own things. I could have gone to the gym as soon as I got up because my husband is here. He will be with the kids. But because it's a Saturday, and I know on Saturday the gym is usually packed, and it's hard to get a machine, and uh, I knew that the kids were going to go out with their dad, so I have pretty much all day to myself. So what I did instead, I let the morning pass. I prepare my, uh, my vegetables, vegetables that I did uh, over, um, I believe it was last week, for the entire week, finished yesterday. So last night I took some out of the freezer. So this morning while I was, you know, trying to kill time and enjoy the moment with the kids and my husband, I prepare it. So now I'm about to go to the gym. I don't have anything in my system with the exception of two cups of uh, coffee. So what I'm going to do before I leave, I have my peanut butter here. I'm going to take two spoon of that. Usually I take one spoon, but since, you know, it's already half of the day and uh, I want to have a really good workout. So I'm going to take two, uh, two spoons as my uh, pre-workout. 
and I have to make sure to remember to grab at least two orange juice and after the gym hopefully I have the energy I'm gonna stop at the supermarket um, to get uh, some chicken Either chicken, yeah, I'm gonna buy just the chicken. I don't wanna buy too many stuff to put in the freezer because my freezer is already full. So just the chicken and I'm gonna prepare it um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna bake it. Or maybe I'll bake it when I come back also, not just preparing it and seasoning and stuff like that. to check the, the vegetable that's in there um, and see how it is and then remove it. This is the right side of the light pan, not too soft and not too hot. When I'm eating them, see, I always warm them up. Once it stays too long, I, 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 would, I don't like it. It's too soft. It will be too soft, so that's why I'm going to Again. Okay, let me take them out and then I'm ready to pop. And this is what's left. I should have embed them in between the chicken to capture the sauce. And that's about it. And I'm going to put the chicken back in there. Back in there it goes. So tomorrow I don't have to do anything so that chicken will be uh, hopefully if the kids eat it that will be great but otherwise it will be the chicken that I'll be eating um, with my wrap um, instead of the, uh, the chili if the chili is finished the, it's almost finished but it's not done yet but I'm gonna eat it until it's done I'm the only one who's been eating it my husband eat it too uh, but my kids they're very picky my oldest all he's been eating uh, is uh, ramen noodles this kid could live on that um, yesterday what is it my youngest ate uh, uh, what is it he asked for hot dog in the morning he ate some of it in the afternoon he wanted something else I forgot what it was but I told him he needed to finish the hot dog so I mix it with rice and I cook a little bit of eggs for him to eat uh, and he ended up eating everything so nothing went in the garbage so yeah it's now it's 12 40 something 12 uh, 47 i'm about to go to the gym and i'm gonna try to do as much as i can uh, if i can do full body i'll do lately i've been thinking um to do uh try not to do supersets just focus on one or two exercise uh, uh, one exercise and do about four to seven uh, sets of that particular or whatever it may be I'm not on any plan uh, throughout the summer all I'm trying to do is maintain and the two wraps per day have kept me uh, pretty much uh, uh, in, in check I'm in pretty good shape my abs is showing and everything so I'm thinking today uh, to do uh, pick whatever exercise that I choose to do do at least seven sets uh, of that particular exercise and then my rest time will be between uh, 40 to a minute 40 seconds to a minute so I'm gonna see if I can do that and uh, by now I think the gym there's still a lot of people there's probably some classes that's going on so I, I hope I'm hoping that I don't have uh, any problem getting a machine and usually when I don't find a machine uh, or, or the machine that I want to use uh, or being occupied or all the benches are taken I find myself uh, a, a resistant uh, machine and do pretty much as many exercises that I can on that particular uh, cable resistant what is it uh, this morning I was thinking my weight has been has gone down it's reaching 126 the morning weights have been 126 point something so that tells a lot um, that I'm um, 
at the 126. I think the other day I showed my abs. Since I don't have my shirt, I might show you again. So this morning I was thinking, the point that I was trying to make is that we're gonna be going on vacation like in two weeks or so. So since I've been in, tr on track with the way I've been eating, I mean, I'm not pushing myself to be on a diet or anything. I'm not pushing myself to lose weight. It's just trying to maintaining and then I find the wrap sort of help me. I stuff everything that I like into the wrap and I make sure I don't eat too much white rice in it. So I'm going to keep doing that until my vacation. Usually when I go on vacation, I don't really eat too many stuff when we are out. My husband likes to go to, you know, uh, what is it, uh, Friendly's or one of those uh, restaurants. Um, I mean, I have no problem with it. Whenever I go, I pick something to eat. Uh, last week uh, or two weeks ago, we went uh, to Montauk. Uh, I ate a burger for breakfast. All right, so um, I'm not complaining about that, but I don't make it a habit of eating that type of food every day. So usually when we go out on vacation, all I need, I know that works for me. I have no problem with it. It keeps me full is to buy, uh, what is it? Wendy's burger, spicy burger. Usually when we go uh, to an unfamiliar place, we find a Wendy uh, restaurant. I usually tell my husband, grab me two spicy burgers. One to eat in the moment and one for later at night. That keeps me full throughout the day. So um, if in case when we do go on vacation, I don't keep that type of uh, 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 eating the two burgers per day, um whatever happens happen but at least i want to go to on the on vacation at a lower weight that way when i come back if i go uh, you know if my weight uh, went slightly high at least it will be somewhat at my regular weight 129 130 sometime 132 but whenever it reach 132 i try to you know curb it not to go higher than that so yeah that's the plan I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna recording. Um, I think starting maybe I'm I'm not promising, but more in September I probably will um, record some of my workout because uh, it's the vacation. There's unfamiliar uh, faces. They probably there uh, usually go to that gym. It's just our timing or not the same. So I usually uh, for the summer I squeeze in as many uh, workout as I can whenever I can. Uh, so the faces that I see, I'm not usually, uh, our times are not the same, but on September's when the kids are in school, I go to the gym in the morning, that time frame, those people who are there familiar with me, they know that I usually record, although nobody ever complained to me about recording, but I do not want to create a scene or people complaining about me recording. So, uh, to curb that i just don't record at all over the summer and i actually haven't really said much about uh, my exercise have i uh just look back on some of my um videos uh if i do um say whatever i did on my uh, when i do go to the gym because most of my recordings now are on my family channel because i'm with the kids taking them to the pool doing different things and yesterday uh, actually my son uh uh, I signed my son up for a swimming team. Uh, he's not a good swimmer, but they will teach him. So yeah, before I go, let me show you guys my abdominal. Um, I think I did show it uh, the other day. Okay, that's me right now without flexing. Okay, I'm 126 something this morning. I will show you the weight this morning. And I haven't eaten anything yet this morning, just two cups of coffee. So this is my abs right now without any food in my system all right this is the side profile you could see the the you know the line of my abdominal uh, wall and stuff like that is showing so that's me without flexing so let's see how it is when i'm flexing all right take a deep breath there that's me flexing all right This is why I be telling you guys, 126 is where it usually bring my abdominal down. I have done zero abs. 
absolutely no abs at all if i were to really focus on all of this stuff this would have been solid like a rock but you know i'm just controlling my uh nutrition and uh, that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go to the gym let me take my two spoon of peanut butter that's my pre uh, pre-workout and that should keep me pretty much full all day uh, not all day but give me that energy that i need so i'm gonna take that spoon now and then i need to rinse it and then take another spoon let me see how much is left. Yeah, it's almost finished, but uh, other people might want to uh, take peanut butter, so I don't want to double dip. I'm going to take this one, rinse the uh, spoon, and then take another one. So that's it, and I'm about to go to the gym after I eat that. I have to remember to take the orange juice. One eternity later. It is actually 4 o'clock. Just got back. I went to the supermarket. I had $40, two twenty dollars and some singles. I went to get chicken breast and of course, and some uh, vegetables or something like that. I had in mind uh, of buying uh, whatever that thing is. I can't think right now because I'm hungry. This to put in the chicken and some Brussels sprout because I wasn't sure if I had enough money with me it will add up. So I decided one or the other this I bought for my son my youngest he liked it the school had given it to him um, during a field trip so he said mommy I like it so I saw the kind that he liked I bought it for him I like the same kind that he liked too and I bought three mangoes sweet potato avocado some peach that came to how much was it 20 uh, no not 20 close to $30 I just pick up the thing it came to $30 and four cents and I gave $40 and four cents. So when I got to the gym, I'm gonna wash my hand as I'm get, starting to get prepared. Uh, wh when I left, actually, I sort of wanted to make rice, but because the kids are not gonna be home, I didn't wanna, and they will be eating at their grandma's. So I didn't wanna make a lot of rice just for me. Uh, and then because I only eat like three ounces of it So I said, you know what? I'll make it tomorrow. We don't go anywhere. So let me get my wrap so what's gonna happen in my Wrap today. I'm gonna eat two to, uh, right now because I'm really hungry. There's absolutely no food in my system uh, those two peanut butter uh, two spoons of peanut butter helped me a lot so uh, I found a new way of warming this thing up. See, that's how much of the meat I have. So I like to cook for the entire week, especially in the summer. That way, I don't have to keep on uh, cooking. And the kids, I give them different things. Uh, what is it? What was I thinking? Um, that's why I wanted to get the, the chicken, so I could get it prepared. So on this wrap, there will not be any rice but there will be more of uh, vegetables that's the vegetable I made today this morning so I'm gonna put a lot of that and then after I warm it up I'm gonna cut some avocados when I was going through the vegetable sections I saw the avocado that I bought that was it three for something three for five and then as I wa continue walking they had some small ones and a uh, bag already sealed but they were not ready to be eaten yet but I wanted one today the minute I get home so the reason I didn't get it they were not ready so how many I have this will be good for tomorrow and where's my onions I need to put that I am really hungry absolutely nothing in my system I saw some jalapeno I didn't buy any because like I said I didn't think I had enough money with me so I didn't want I hate when people who's in front of me they buy a whole bunch of stuff and they know they didn't have enough money they have to ask the cashier to remove so even though I think I was doing the calculation in my head as I put stuff on my uh, that little bag thing at the supermarket then I decided usually I like to walk around to see what I need because I know I had only 40 bucks I decided not to walk around I just grabbed the things that I really needed the chicken and the asparagus and anything else that I'm, I could have bought I said you know what yes 
Alright, that's the wrap. I'm gonna warm it up 40 seconds. I will be showing you guys the uh, uh I'm not gonna show. Uh pretty much the uh my workout, just mostly upper body. Uh when I got there a lot of machines were not available, but as I uh as I continue, the gym got empty and all the machines were available. But because I didn't eat, I didn't have that drive to continue. I was not hungry. I was not hungry at all. It's just that I, I didn't have the drive to work out. What I'm looking for. Okay. I need to put the avocado. I bought two hard one and one soft one. This one is good to eat now. I'm going to cut this now. I did uh, what's really funny today with my workout. After I did all my upper body... I'm not gonna go into this, it's just a whole bunch of upper body thing and back. And I was like, man, tomorrow I don't think I'll be coming to ease my mind. What I did for legs, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I did leg extension, hand train curls, and uh, calf raise. The way that I did it, just 30 pounds on each. And I did two sets till failure. I just keep going, keep going, keep going until I can't do anymore for all of them. And then that was it. And then I went down the rack to do uh, biceps. And that was it. So for my seasoning, adobo. I'm not sure if I'm going to cook it now. I think I should cook it now since the kids are not here. And uh, okay, pepper, parsley, some saison, some garlic. And this seasoning, uh, it has a lot of different things. Uh, also garlic, onions, and all sort of stuff. And then I'm gonna put a bit of water. That's my seasoning. There it is. I might put a bit more water later, but for now that's okay. I need to eat. And when I finish get the chicken ready, I'll show you guys. Okay, that's my that's my wrap for today two of them no rice in this one today I did not make any so that's mixed uh, vegetables avocados jalapeno onions and uh, chili at the bottom yep that's it I'm hungry just came from the gym did full body and I'm tired one eternity later 502 and I decided to cook the food put everything away uh, the uh, leftovers for the uh, chili is a small amount. I put it in a container and this is the mixed vegetable that I made this morning. While I'm here, I decided to do everything, put everything away, cook the chicken. Actually, the chicken is baking right now. I put the asparagus in uh, and the meat to sort of grab, I'm, I'm bending down, uh, to sort of observe the seasoning and the, uh, someone just text me. Uh, to observe all the seasoning and the stuff from the meat. The only thing is that I probably will have to take it out uh, like in maybe I would say 10 minutes because I don't want it to be too soggy. And I clean uh, everything, put everything away. There's, well, I didn't put them away, but I just clean them all. This is still wet. These are still wet, so I can't really put them away yet. And uh, <clears throat> let's put this upside down because I have no room over there to put them. Now, some of you may say, how come this is dirty? Well, look underneath. It's clean. Uh, when I buy more of this, I think I have some somewhere in the house because when I bought, uh, uh, I think there were like six of them or eight. Could have been 12 too. Um, and the package, uh, I don't know where I put it. So I decided to cook every, uh, do everything now, bake the chicken. That way, since the kids are not here and it's very hot, I don't, when they're here, I have the stove on. But I ju I'll just uh, warm, up, warm up the food when they need it. All right, I'm just showing you, even though you're seeing this all dirty, the bottom of it is clean. All right, I'm not that dirty. That means I use the stove, okay? That means I cook. So I'm going to take a shower. I'm exhausted. I'm hot. I'm sweating. I still have my gym clothes on. So I need to... Take a shower and relax for a few. I was thinking of going to church so I don't have to go tomorrow. 
I'm too tired. I don't want to get dressed. Too much to do. I'm just going to take a shower and relax. All right. I didn't talk about my workout. I think I did, but I'm not sure. Upper body, pretty much mostly upper body. Uh, biceps, tricep back. Um, for legs, I did only leg extension, hamstring curls, and uh, what's that thing? Uh, calf raises. That was it. And uh, I think I only used 30 pounds uh, for all of them. Two sets uh, on the hamstring, uh, ham no, not hamstring, the calf raises. I started uh, at whatever that was on the thing. I think it was 50. And then I did two sets. Everything was up to failures. Those two sets were everything were up to uh, failures. But on the calf raises, after I did the two sets up to failure, I increased the last set. I think it was either 70 or 90. I'm not, I don't recall the number, but it wasn't 130 like I usually do. Um, so I, I did another, an extra set to failure. So that was it. And then I did uh, biceps going down the, down the rack the rack i only did one set usually i do uh two sets where i start at uh, 25 and up to the lowest weight that they have uh and then go back again but today i only did one um i wasn't hungry i wasn't tired i guess my body needed food the two peanut butter the two spoon of peanut butter did their job but the brain wasn't functioning the way it needed so i didn't want to push too much and it was uh, by that time, I believe it is either 2 or 3 o'clock or something like that, 2.30, 3 o'clock, I was starting, uh, I didn't eat anything. Uh, when I went to the gym, I only had two cup of uh, coffee and two spoons of peanut butter. That was it. That was in my system. That's why I didn't want to push my body too much, uh, even though I could have done more, but I feel like my body needed food. And when I came here, I ate those wrap like I'd never eaten before. So I just shoved them down my throat. But anyway, I need to take a shower. And thanks for watching. Field day. I know. When did you have that? A field day. You like this car? Mm-hmm. So you're going to eat it now? Yes. See, Mommy was thinking of you when I saw you. Yeah. Where did you find this? Uh, at the supermarket. That's enough. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. Yeah, this smells good. Oh, did you step on the scale? Yeah. Oh, okay. 10.55. I just weigh myself. I weigh 127. And this morning, I was 126.2. So tomorrow morning, I'll probably be going to be 126 point something. So I only gained 0.8 pounds. So one thing I did not record, after I gave my son a little bit of the pop corners, let me show you. He didn't eat all of it. So I put some back and then I took a little bit amount, which I mentioned here, a little bit amount of pop corners, white cheddar chips. I put, I estimated about six pieces. After I ate that, it was around 826, my abdominal had been feeling kind of weird. Uh, cause all week I've been eating clean and I never really put anything nasty in my stomach. So this made me feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to go to bed. Snacks for me for the day, for the week. There's more of this. Sweet potatoes. So it's about, uh, 11.43 PM. I weighed myself a while ago. I was just thinking about my workout uh, today because when I came back I was really exhausted and tired I think the heat got into me so my workout I did sort of talk about it but I don't think I, I have no idea what clip I have I'll look at it when I'm editing before I went to the gym I didn't eat I went like around one and I don't really like to eat when I work out because my body got used to working out without eating and when I uh, know I need some food or something some for energy as my pre-workout I just take two spoons of peanut butter but um, that helps a lot and I find the trick by accident so it helped me um, I was doing okay um, when I got to the gym I sort of wanted to do bench press you know I've been trying to 
keep my uh, bench press strength up but all the benches were taken I ended up doing lat pull down with the two handle so I did that and by the time I got to the bench my energy gone down I think I started I did uh, my first bench press with a 35 usually I start with 37 I'm trying to reach 40 but uh, I felt like my strength went down I didn't even try to lift the 37 I went down one the 35 next time I go I'll try to lift it to the 37 you know, that being said I did what I need to do I did a couple back exercises wall shoulder press shrugs face pull some triceps with the rope and I went down the rack and by the time I got to the going down the rack, that was the last thing I did. But I'm going to go back talk about the leg part. I was starting to feel hungry. My, I was in, I had energy to do more, but I felt like my body needed the food. Um, because I didn't eat and I only took the peanut butter, the two spoons of peanut butter. I felt like my body needed food. I did not want my energy, you know, because I need energy. I didn't want my body to start taking, um, uh, like what's the term, my protein. Yeah, my protein mm -hmm. as a source of energy. So that's why I sort of stopped. Um, I, my mental wasn't there. The uh, gym felt humid. And most of the people had already left. So I had time to, I mean, I could have done anything that I wanted, but my mind wasn't there, so I felt like I needed to eat. And uh, so with the leg part, <laughs> it's so weird. I did leg extension, hamstring curl, and calf raises. That's it. These three things considered as the leg exercise. The only reason I did it, just to ease my mind to say, okay, I did full body, but it wasn't an intense leg routine at all i did couple stuff to failure with very lightweight and uh it did ease my mind but i know it wasn't good enough but uh, i just wanted to say that but next time i go i'll focus doing a little bit more heavy tomorrow um, my husband said he might take the kids golfing um, i'm not sure if i'm gonna go i have a lot of editing to do i may not do any editing until the kids leave because they're gonna be going away on Wednesday so I'll have a couple days to do couple stuff yeah the heat really got me I think all of that play a role into the way I was feeling when um, as I got a little bit on into the workout so that's it oh one more thing I, I know I spoke about it um, a few minutes ago um, I ate one of the couple not a lot couple chips my son left um, I gave it to him but he didn't finish it that really messed up my stomach and right now I'm feeling very uncomfortable with that um, my stomach feels weird from eating it all right so we shall see how much I weigh tomorrow that's it